music production. That's my baby. That's my life. I love that stuff. I've been producing for like, as soon as I got the internet. So that was like, when I was like 12 years old. No, no, like 13. Yeah, and ever since then I've just been in love with, you know, learning how to record, getting my stuff to sound awesome. Yeah, sometimes I like to start with the bass guitar, get a nice groove going, and get everything kind of thumping from there. And then after I get like a good solid take, I like to kind of play things through as well so that it gets like a nice natural feel. And then I move on to the drums. The drums are my favorite part, man. The drums are the best part because for me, I like to kind of make cross rhythms, get like different genres of music grab the drums from them and blend them together and kind of create like these polyrhythmic types of feels. You know, it's tight. Like if you can get like a loop from like, you know, like a rock loop and then mix it with like a Latin kind of percussion with like some marching band kind of side sticks that like, I don't know, it just creates really dope drums. So after I get drums, the next part for me that I really like to jump into after that is always the guitars. And when I do the guitars, man, shout out to Head Rush. I've just been really kind of experimenting with different amplifiers and different tones. But after I get like a good solid basis of the electric guitars, that's when from there, I can kind of move on to the other melodic parts. I feel like the melody is like the foundation of what keeps people coming back. Like, the melody is the thing that keeps people addicted to the song. But for the most part, I like to put a lot of attention into the melody, and that usually comes from, for me, since I'm a guitar player, I play guitar most of my life. Um, I start with the guitar. I'll, I'll stack all the guitars together, and I'll create like a really um, nice kind of music bed for it. And then once I get all the guitars that I like, I move on to the keys. <laughs> Keys are always my favorite part. That, I like to keep vintage as much as possible. Analog keyboards, I feel like, keep the noise in there. It keeps everything kind of wobbling and it feels slightly detuned sometimes, and I think that's good. Um, I don't know, it just makes it feel old and familiar. I have a selection of vintage keyboards that I just adore. I got to a really bad habit and started buying a lot of them a couple years ago. But since, I, I've, I've kept a handful of them. And, and yeah, I'm a big, big fan of vintage keyboards. And the more you can bring um, real players and, and real, you know, real performance in, into computer music, the better. And then after I lay down a good bed of the music, that's when I move on to vocals. I've kind of created like a vibe, like my own atmosphere now, where I'm able to dive in and just kind of think about melodically what I want to sing, or sometimes even if I have something in mind that I want to say, um, then I can work from that starting point and then work in the melody. But a lot of the times for me, you know, I'm a very melodic person. That's the thing that really draws me into music. So I'll start with the melody, and then after that, I'll like work in lyrics and stuff. But vocal is the part that takes the longest. Sometimes it fucking sucks. But it's worth it, because that's the part, man. That's the part that everyone loves, I feel like. It's when you solidify it and put a hook, you relate to people. If you do it the right way, it's a very, very powerful, powerful part of the song. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you next week for more Studio TV. As always, stay optimistic, stay open-minded. Peace.